My first impression of the painter was colored by the fairy stories my Aunt Edith told me at bedtime, he writes. His face was wizened and wrinkled like a ripe walnut, and as he peered short-sightedly at me out of his goggle spectacles, I thought he was one of the goblins out of Grimm's fairy tales. Dressed in his shabby blue suit and hopping about his studio in his carpet slippers, he reminded me of Rumpelstiltskin. But when he was armed with palette and paintbrushes, he became for me a wizard, who with one touch of his magic wand could people my universe with elves and leprechauns. He would take me out for walks over Primrose Hill or in Kensington Gardens where he would sketch the trees. And as he worked, he would tell me stories of gnomes who lived in the roots and churned butter out of the sap flowing from the knotted branches. 